y'all. Holy shit, we're on the air, baby. Yeah, what's going on? Yo. Tonight is the 29th anniversary of the Shelter, New York City style. And right now behind the wheels of steel, we got Ron Trent rocking the ones and twos. And not too much later, we'll have the maestro himself, Tim, Timmy Regisford, to come and grace us with his presence and his musical journey. But for now, we're going to take it with Ron Trent and rock us with Shemansky. And all good in the hood, everybody. Let's go!
vibrations right now. That's the most.
everybody around the world, welcome to the Banger Podcast. We're about two hours in now for the Shelter 29th anniversary party, and Ron Trent is rocking in Brooklyn's own Ron Trent. Living in Chicago, he's doing his thing on his one, two, threes, and fours. My name is Lenny Fontana, and welcome to South Kamona's The Banger Podcast. We're doing especially live from Jamansky in Brooklyn. There's a lot going on here, the crowd just started getting here. And those who know the shelter know that the shelter comes later in the night. The crowds come late. Look at them, they're all getting excited. Place is going wild. All I can say is, it's on fire. So stay with us, keep streaming, and share the podcast wherever you are. Remember, South Kimono is the Banger Podcast. DJ Ron Trent on the one, two, three, and fours. I'm Lenny Fontana. Doing it live right here in Brooklyn for the 29th anniversary of the Delta.
Tony Touch. What's up, everybody? You Tony, how you doing? Bro? Oh, man. So, by the way, I want to give a special happy birthday. I've been watching through all Facebook. I've been Richie. Happy birthday. And as well, you've been involved with a lot with Tudor Ray and all the underground scene. You were my yeah, well, my Mine, mine, mine You were mine, mine, mine Sweet, 
sweet You were mine, mine, mine You were mine, mine, mine Shut up Shut up
Oh, 
Ron Trent rocking the wheels of steel. And right behind him, we have the maestro himself, Timmy Redisford, coming on. And Tony Todd, Mark Francis, many great DJs. But I'm with one of my closest friends. We all danced together at a club, small club called the Paradise Garage in New York at one time. And this girl has made a name for herself in the dance music community and one of the best female DJs I know in soulful house music. <laughs> but we want that girl Curly to say something about her experience of going to the shelter on Yuma Street, the original when it became area to shelter. Well, you know what? Most of us know that Shelter, I became a newbie to Shelter. If anything, Shelter taught me a lot. After so many years, of course, of Paradise Garage and the law, but the Shelter was not, it was a rare home for me. So it's always welcoming, it's always soft, and it's, it's, I mean, the vibe is awesome. So that's what I look for as a dancer. So I really appreciate you. Timmy, thank you so much for all the years of inspirational music for us to dance on the dance floor. I truly appreciate that. I have to say this as well. Timmy Redisford and, Mer and Merlin Bob, of course, but very important, one of the best keyboard players we knew, Boy Jarvis. Boy Jarvis, rock. Oh my God, I loved him. May he rest in peace. He's gonna always be the nice keyboard player. Merlin, thank you so much. Curly's holding the key to it all. She does it every day. She plays every day. Check out her. Check out her Facebook Live. That girl, Curly. Facebook Live. Morning, noon, and night. Never know when she goes on, but she goes on. And that's again. Let's go back to the music.
show himself off the shelf that Timmy Redisford is on. The wheels are still working it. And right next to me, a very important person to our whole scene has stepped up in the booth and everybody went crazy because with COVID, we haven't all seen each other. I'd like you all to introduce you to Joey Llanos. The, How you doing? The keeper and the secret of the Paradise Garage. And bless him that he keeps it going. Bless him that he, a little technical. And bless him that he keeps it going. And we're so proud to see Joey and everybody doing well. How you doing, brother? I'm good. I'm happy to be here. We keep, I keep it going with my partner, David Zapino. Yeah, of course. Well, we can't, he's not here right now. No, he's not here. He goes Did, to bed early. Miss Daisy. Miss Daisy goes to bed real early now. The Yankees are not doing too well, so. He's depressed. He's not coming out. So we know there's gonna be a boat party going, right? Right, right, we got a boat party. Larry's birthday, uh, July 18th is a Sunday, four hours. It's a lot of heads of so responding. I know, I know, know that. A lot of old heads, so it's gonna be a good party. Cool. And we know we know you do it right. We know you always put those, those garage parties together. It's like being at the garage for that night. Is we that have to, we have to represent, you know, you know where we come from, so. Well, they don't expect anything less. Well, here's the thing. You guys weren't doing it. Who would do it? Because nobody else would ever step up to be able I, to do it. I can't speculate on that. No, I'm saying, <laughs> and we've always said that. If you didn't if you didn't start those parties 25 years ago, we wouldn't be talking about a boat party. David, well, David, David had the foresight, and we just kept going from there, you know. Awesome. But I love him. Anything to say to the maestro himself, Timmy? His anniversary? Oh, uh, yeah, I came to wish him a hat. Uh, look at this, the beautiful party. I mean, it's beautiful. We haven't seen people like this together beautiful. for two years. I'm really happy. Hopefully, we can keep these parties going and hopefully, we can get through this COVID era. Yeah, but for now, everyone stay safe and keep dancing at home all over the world, wherever you are. I'm Lenny Bontan, this is Joey Anos, and let's go back to the maestro himself. Timmy Redisford. Infinite blessings, everybody.
rocking. We're rocking right here in Shemansky in Brooklyn for the 29th anniversary of Jimmy Redden's first in Delta. And I'm with one of my good friends, DJ Mickey Affleck, a very prolific Afro House producer. This woman doesn't play. She runs a phenomenal record label. She is the bomb. Mickey, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you so much, Penny. New York City is back. Oh, crazy in here, right? Like, there's no pandemic. pandemic. I know, it wouldn't be any other way. So, Mickey, we saw you were playing out recently. You played out and rocked in the front Are you getting ready to play out more? Yes, definitely. I got uh, a few things coming up. Amazing. I'm going to be doing something August 1st for hands. To the sky in Brooklyn. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to be doing so sad. Crazy. 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 And I got some new music out. Wow. I got a bunch of new stuff coming out. Woo! I got, I don't want to say it yet, but I got a gem coming out on my mentor's label. Work, Mickey Affleck. Work it. We want to thank Mickey for coming up. You got anything to say for Timmy and his anniversary? Anything yes. I have to say, this is the house that Timmy built. I was fortunate enough to be a member of the Paradise Garage with Larry LeVan, but Timmy Registrick has built the shelter 29 years strong, his own sound, no his stop. own brand, All and right. he has laid the foundation for New York City house music. If there was no Timmy Registrick, there would be no New York City house music underground. The king of the state. You can't stop. There is no stopping. There is no stopping. Nikki Elfleck, thank you so much, thank darling. You, Lenny. Love you. I love you. One of the best in our business. Great lady. Watch out for her music. It's slamming. Her music's the bomb. Thank you. Lenny. Interrupted the broadcast. Now, I don't want <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the music. We got Cal and Bird coming on in a moment. We'll give Timmy Register a few minutes to play. We'll come back on. I know it's hard to hear. Anyway, we love what Timmy's doing. I know it's crazy, it's crazy out here. Anyway. We're good. And back to the music.
Congratulations to the shelter. It's 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 a, a wonderful achievement and just looking out onto this party, it's pretty amazing that it's still going on after all these years and all these beautiful people. The crowd is so diverse and they're here for one thing and that's the music, you know? And it's really beautiful because there, there aren't that many parties like that anymore and shelter is still a testament that you know, the music is the most powerful thing you can present in audience. Right. And Timmy's still doing it. And, you know, the, actually the first club I ever worked at was 6 Hubert Street. Right, yeah. And I started there. It wasn't Shelter anymore. It, had, it, was, it was vinyl. And I think Timmy had come back. And I got to know Timmy. And um, I worked on some events with him. And, you know, I'm still in awe of him. After all these years, um, when I, you know, Timmy always, you know, can be an intimidating type of character, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it, it's been a, a real pleasure to get to know him because he's really a nice person, you know? And um, to just get, sort of get to know him and separate him from Timmy the legend right. to Timmy the person. Yep. Um, and he's been always very supportive of what I do. and always kind of encouraged me and uh, yeah he's been great you know uh just kind of encouraging me to be better and try to make my party bigger and he's always giving me advice and also djing you know uh, i was djing a party recently and he was standing behind me when i was playing and you know of course i was like shaking in my pants <laughs> you know to have timmy yeah, right. like right here right while, while you're playing it's tough. And he was there. And then, and then he called me the next day and gave me some advice. You know? He did? He did. And I listened. Wow. Because how often does Timmy Register call now, you to give you advice? Now, you've heard many DJs play. Yeah. Many. He's heard many DJs play over the years. He booked a lot of DJs in New York. So, for him to have Timmy watching him, him getting nervous is kind of funny hearing that. I wasn't nervous. I was terrified. Oh, you know what I mean. I was like terrified. Like I was like, he's right behind me. Wow. You know, and but he called me and he gave me such constructive criticism. And he said, you know, you were great, but you know, you should work on this okay. and this. And I was like, I was humbled. You know, I was humbled because if you really think about it, how often does anybody get a phone call from Timmy Register? Not often. To give you advice Not on the plane. So I was just blown away. And, you know, I wish him the very best. Uh, I wish Shelter the very best. And I, it's a beautiful thing to be here today. And I was at another party and I, I just had to be here tonight. So it's beautiful to see yeah. you all. Thank you. But you know what? If you're lucky enough in your lifetime to work for this man, then you're blessed. Because he's a great promoter. Thank you. And I've always it. said that to him. A great promoter. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you so much, brother. God bless. Love and love back in Jimmy
girls at No Bird. She's synonymous with two clubs, three clubs. Dan the Bar, Paradise Garage, and Shelter. Now, if you remember, you would always have her good cooking. This woman made sure everybody was well fed and well taken care of all the time. And it's amazing that for almost 30 years, the 29th anniversary of Shelter, we're here right all together during COVID. How you doing, Bird? You good? But she's a legend in our game. She would whistle so loud, you hear her whistling across the floor. It was unbelievable. She would, you would hear it. Wow, you go, that's Bird. It is Bird. But she contributed so much to the scene. She's been there with all of us. Every DJ. Always supporting and always doing everything you can for all of us, for the dancers, the DJs, the clubs. We can't thank you enough. What do you got to say to Timmy Redisford? Timmy, it's my anniversary. It's a blessing to be here. And I really want to thank
kiss it's green lips Yes, I got some honey, circle chocolate dip And kisses full of love for you Yes, I got some candy kisses for your lips Yes, I got some honey, circle chocolate dip And kisses full of love for you My life has been waiting for your love And my arms have been waiting for your love to arrive
depend on you in your sexy smile. Turn up that dope, babe, love, blend into the light. I'd like to do you perfectly right. And I won't just not
away.